180 divided by 4. Why not divide by 2 and then divide by 2? Half of 18 is 9, so half of 180 is 90, and half of 90 is 45. 45. Divide by 4, half and half again. Half of 30 is 15, half of 300 is 150, and 150 divided by 2 is 75, because 75 and 75 make 150. 75. If it had been 18 divided by 4, the answer would be 4.5. If it had been 30 divided by 4, the answer would be 7.5. Four hundred and twenty divide by five. Split the four hundred and twenty up into two numbers. Four hundred and twenty. Divide both by five. Five goes into forty eight times, so into four hundred eighty times. Five goes into twenty four times. Combine. Eighty four. Hundred and ninety divide by five. Why not think of the hundred and ninety as two hundred? Take away 10. Divide both by 5. 5 goes into 240 times and into negative 10, negative 2 times. Combine. 38. If it had been 42 divided by 5, the answer would be 8.4. If it had been 19 divided by 5, the answer would be 3.8. 150 divided by 6. Why not make the 150 into 120 and 30? Because both are divisible by 6. 6 goes into 120 20 times and into 30 5 times. Combine 25. Some people, though, would recognise the 25 times table. The 25 times table goes into 150 6 times. The answer must be 25. 7 goes into 56 8 times, so into 560 80 times. If this had been 15 divided by 6, the answer would be 2.5. 600 divided by 8. Why not divide by 2, divide by 2, and then divide by 2? It's the same as dividing by 8. So half of 600 is 300, half of 300 is 150, and half of 150 is 75. 75. 54 is divisible by 9. 9 goes into 54 6 times. So 9 goes into 540 60 times. If this had been 60 divided by 8, the answer would be 7.5. Are you ready? Stay with me. A hundred and fifty five. Eighty four. Twenty five. Sixty. Eighteen. 65, 66, 80. Did you stay with me? Maybe you could try the We Red Box flashcards on the website.